The flexibility and scalability of Milestone uh, has been extremely easy uh, for us as an organization to implement. Uh, being able to add multiple cameras, we're not limited by uh, physical DVR ports uh, any longer. Um, and so the, the scalability and, and flexibility of Milestone has really allowed us to grow to where we need to be. Currently the Harris County Toll Road um, comprised of about 119 miles of roadway. Um, we uh, move over 500,000 vehicles per day and we generate about a million and a half dollars in revenue per day. The importance of a reliable uh, video analytic and, and recording system uh, in a large transportation industry is extremely important. Uh, we need to be able to track uh, where cars are going, uh, safety and security of our funds, um, and not only that, provide uh, real-time video to law enforcement personnel uh, when they're responding to you know, any incidents or, or uh, actions that may, may occur. Another, another problem we ran into is uh, thefts at the toll booths. You know, people drive up to a toll booth, stick a gun on the collector's face, give me all your money. You can ask any one of those toll booths uh, or toll collectors that have been held up. When somebody robs them, you ask for a description, they don't know, all they saw was a gun. You know, now having these cameras in the booths, we're able to see what the collector's doing and also uh, the vehicle that drives up and, and get a picture of the driver. So, you know, if we do have a robbery at a toll booth, then, you know, we have video evidence of that robbery. The Milestone platform does assist us uh, as far as operation and maintenance of the recording system. Uh, you know, being able to set up multiple backups and archives for our system uh, and allowing us to, to manage, the, manage those backups and those archives, uh, Milestone's been extremely beneficial in, in uh, managing that video. We're currently using Milestone Expertech Enterprise, um, which is, has been great for us. Uh, I'd like to thank Milestone again for all the support we've received. Um, they've been very instrumental in the installation and, and setup of this, uh, along with our integrator SecureNet. We couldn't have done it without them. IP is the best solution for the amount of territory that we cover, uh, mainly because of the infrastructure requirements. Uh, you know, with analog cameras uh, like we currently have, uh, the amount of infra infrastructure required, uh, cables, power supplies, uh, equipment, housing as such uh, is immense. Uh, switching to an IP system uh, has really allowed us to reduce the amount of cabling required uh, and also the cost of you know uh, the DVRs themselves and power supplies and uh, it's been very beneficial in you know allowing us to expand our system uh, with less cost to us. We have 250 plus uh, planned IP cameras. Um, I actually think uh, we've, we've done a little more uh, looking into it since since I actually made this presentation, and it's probably going to be closer to 300 now. Uh, with we we just brought our our new building online, and we have approximately uh, 45 cameras going in there, uh, of which about 35 are installed at this time. The future of the installation, uh, we'd like to eventually uh, bring all of our roadway cameras online. Uh, that's approximately 400 plus cameras, uh, along with the, the 300 plus security cameras that we plan to have in place. Uh, so with a, a total system like that, we're looking at approximately seven to 800 cameras, uh, and we'd still like to leave room for uh, additional cameras if necessary. Our goal is to have uh, close to 280 cameras total uh, in our system. Some of our future objectives uh, is to integrate the roadway cameras. Uh, we currently have approximately 400 uh, about 410 roadway cameras that we monitor and dispatch. Uh, we'd eventually like to make that, all that roadway video available to the public. So we're trying to convert all this ATM equipment and systems uh, over to an IP system. And we'd like to eventually um, take all that roadway video, put it to a, you know, a central server, and be able to stream that to other county agencies. Obviously there would be a, a delay in the video stream to the public. Uh, but law enforcement and other county agencies will be able to access that video immediately or real time.